What's up everybody, CloudCord here today on behalf of Open Channels. Today we're talking about envelope filters in Ableton Live. I have searched the internet far and wide regarding the topic of making an envelope filter in Ableton Live. And the summary that I came up with is very few people have figured it out. So here you go. Before we dig into these envelope filter amps, Quick PSA, this July 12th through 14th, 2024, I will be giving an Ableton Live retreat in upstate New York in Wappingers Falls at Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, which is Alex Gray's spot. So if you're looking for a three-day transformative and transcendental experience with Ableton Live and being around the energy of the art of Alex Gray on his stomping grounds, please join us for Behind the Beats. We'll talk about producing, we'll talk about performing, we'll talk about your spiritual goals and everything in between. There is a link below in the description for more details. Okay, let's dig into envelope filters. The main thing you need to know about creating envelope filters is that it comes from an auto filter inside Ableton Live, but the trick is that you have to side chain the track unto itself. So if you look here in my auto filter, I have the sidechain toggle open and it's sidechaining to itself. So it comes from an auto filter sidechain to itself. The other thing I want you to realize is that the quality and the timbre of these sounds is based on the amount of signal that you're feeding into this device. So if it's too dark, you're probably not giving it enough signal. And if it's too bright and honky, you're probably giving it too much signal. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's go through our signal chain real quick. We have a tuner, then we have EQ8. We have two instances of auto filter. One is creating a Leslie effect. And then this other one just titled auto filter is our main envelope filter. After that, we have the amp, the cabinet, saturator, warm tube, little bit of glue compression, spring reverb, and limiter to practice safe sound design. So there's a link for this amp below. Let's dig into these snapshots here. So the very first snapshot is just a clean reset so you can actually hear the signal that you're feeding this device without any envelope filtering. <laughs> LFO house, this is a fun one. This is using the LFO knob on the auto filter at a rate of one quarter. That's what I used for this intro. Pretty cool, it gives us a little bit of this volume ducking type sound. After that, Jerry Funk. Pretty fun. Eighth note bubbles. Let's listen to that one. Same idea as the LFO house, but it is in eighth notes. Let's do that over a hip hop beat. Pretty cool. No quarter, an ode to Zeppelin. That is using the Wiggles macro, which is this Leslie, which has the LFO at 124. Bandpass funk. All right, so here, this uses the bandpass of the auto filter. Short chords, play some short chords, see how it sounds. Also try this out with different instruments. You'll get different types of timbres. Of 
You'll even notice on your guitar you'll get different results from high strings versus low strings. Dark Wiggle! Most of these are just, uh, you know, there's no delay on these and not too much reverb. I just wanted to give you a pure envelope filter tone and then you can go from there on your own, like this. <laughs> So just remember these amps that I am putting out there in the world, they're starting places. Wow, laser. Fun. Hold the note. This one is special. Check this out. This is using the LFO shape and it's that weird wiggly shape. So hit a note and hold it and then listen. It's got some little flickers. What you could do, is you could go over here, crank your makeup a little bit. Pull down your threshold. Gives you little wiggles. Spores, I'm seeing double. Hope you all enjoyed this today. Moral of the story. First, I'm doing an Ableton retreat this summer, July 12th to 14th. Second, take an auto filter, side train the track to itself, mess with the envelope and the frequency, and go from there. Third, Jerry Garcia loves you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.